Hello everybody, welcome back to our tech channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about computers. Uh, I'm going to say to you a few basic things that you should really know when you're about to buy a new computer, laptop, notebook or whatever. So, uh, I went online at hp.com and uh, I just chose the laptop there. It's your choice if you want to buy a notebook or a display computer. As you wish to buy one. I just chose one, so don't, you don't have to look at the price or so. So, everywhere where you're searching about a new computer, even if you go at the shop, you basically always see this things displayed on the side and now we are going to talk about these so an example on this computer we have Windows 7 Home 64-bit system Windows 7 Home is the operating system that operates this computer as we know or maybe don't I don't know that mostly nowadays computer run on Windows systems and Windows 10 it's in this moment the latest one so if you want to buy a new computer just check to have the new windows 10 installed already on it it will be better if you pay for it what i mean when i say you pay for it you just try to buy the full package because now computer sellers are, are always trying to sell everything extra so you buy a windows 10 computer you have it good running for three months and then boom on this part of the screen here it says your windows is not activated and you should buy a full license so don't forget to check it and better pay for it at the beginning than later this 64 here this 64 st uh, stands for 64 bit operating system there are actually two types of operating system, 32 bits and 64 bits. Let me just tell you that 64 bits operates, uh, it uses a lot more memory. Now let me put it like that. When you run your computer, 64 bit systems lets you, use, lets you use more memory to run more applications. Good. Then I would like to continue with uh, this part here to make a connection 8 gigabyte memory this stands for ram random access memory and uh, if you had a 32 system bits operating system then out of this 8 gigabyte memory on this side here should stand for only usable that means that if you had the 32 bit system it would be possible for your computer to use only 4 gigabytes of ram memory at the same time ram memory is the memory that every application <coughs> uses to keep running so for example i don't know when you run google chrome it says to the computer access this memory take about one gigabyte of memory and use it to run Google Chrome, for example. So then you have more seven gigabytes to run other programs at the same time. More RAM you have, it's gonna be better for your computer to use. This always depends for what purposes you wanna use it. This here, 256 gigabytes, Intel SSD storage. This stands for the memory that their computer has, ROM it is called. This is the hard disk of the computer. This is where you store your data. Also, your operating system is stored in there. All the videos, photos, applications. You always need a lot of space to install new applications and your personal data and uh, this SSD here, this is actually a very important part. 
I'm not gonna make it difficult for you. I'm just gonna say to you that if you find on your hard disk or storage or room an SSD write written on it, then it means that it's gonna be a lot faster for your laptop to turn on, turn off or do every type of action that you require. It's gonna... Every application that you run, it's gonna access, access itself or any part of the memory that he needs a lot faster than a normal one. So then we have, I'd like to go back on this part over here. This is the processor or the CPU. Here we have Core i7 processor, 11th generation Intel. This is the part that controls the whole computer so this is like let's say the brain this is the part where let's make it easy you click on an application this part takes the order of the application decrypts it and says to it now okay now we have the order you go on this part of the memory pick up this file and give it back to me to run it again so this is where all the data it's gonna make sense for the machine, for the computer in this case to use. Nowadays we have Intel Core or AMD processors. It's just up to you. Nowadays gamers use a lot of AMD processors and graphics too. And developers mostly, let's say, just like Intel Core, Intel lovers. Here you have i7. The latest now it's i10, I think. So important is to have a new one. Graphics. This is the part of the computer that uh, has to do a lot with the display. This means this is also uh, in gigabyte. I would say if you want to buy a computer for a normal use, let's say for school or work, it depends always what type of work you do. You just want to take a computer with minimum one gigabyte of graphics. That means that uh, every application is going to run nice on full HD or Let's just take it like that. You you just don't want to buy something too cheap and something too too expensive. So just try to keep it easy on that. One, maximum two gigabyte of graphics and it's gonna be enough. This here is the size of the screen. So 15.6 inch diagonal AF FHD touch display. So from here, angle to this angle, only the display is going to be 15.6 inch. You have a lot bigger ones, you have a lot smaller ones. As I said, it's always depending on the usage that on the main thing on which you want to use your computer. Gamers or hard workers, let's put it like that, always want a bigger screen because it's easier for your eyes to work with. And if you're gonna spend a lot of time on it, believe me, you just want to save those eyes. So now that I told you in simple words what all these specifications here are, if you are buying a laptop for a special use, Let's say you want to run a program on it. I'll put it like this. If you want to run AutoCAD on it, AutoCAD specifications, you just Google your name of the program and continue by specifications or system required. Let's put the actual year on it. And then we see an operating system these are the minimum requirements that a program needs to run smoothly on a computer. So here we have 64-bit 
Microsoft Windows 10 or 8.1 and let's check it on our laptop. Yes, we have Windows 10 and 64 bits processor 2.5 gigahertz 3 plus gigahertz recommended mm. See complete specifications Storage memory here Intel Core i7 up to 4.7 gigahertz checked memory this is the RAM memory 8 gigabytes 16 gigabyte recommended then we go on memory and here are all the, all the possible options that you have when you check to buy it out you just the basics as said here 8 gigabyte it's enough but 16 gigabytes it's recommended so if i were you autocad is a it's a program that architects or engineers use to make planning of homes or uh, or everything they need to use so it's gonna be a, let's say hard work and expensive work so I'd like to invest on it and let's just say take the recommended 16 gigabyte on it disk space 7 gigabyte this is the actual memory that the computer is gonna use on your storage to store itself so here we have 256 gigabyte it's gonna take 7 gigabytes of your system to install the AutoCAD program display uh, 1920 mal 1080 resolution with true color let's go on display mm, and here we have it the lower and the higher system quality so these are all options that you can check or uncheck when you buy your computer so there are a lot of other stuff but just say that uh, every laptop has it is the basics and so on but all the things that you have to know are basically this here so that is why on every shop, even when you go on physics shop, you always find at the edge of the product a list with these specifications on it. Okay guys, this is all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. See you on the next video. Bye.